So if you want to place your first trade on MetaTrader 4, then this video is for you because in this video, you are going to discover what is MetaTrader 4, what are the basic features on MetaTrader 4, and most importantly, how to place your first trade on MetaTrader 4. So first of all, what is MetaTrader 4? MetaTrader 4 is a platform that you can use to analyze the market using past previous data to place your trades and most importantly to manage your money in the market. So to download MetaTrader 4, you are going to go to any Play Store that you use and you are going to type in MetaTrader 4. When you search, you are going to see an application which looks like this and you can open MetaTrader 4 once you download and install it. So when you open MetaTrader 4, the first page that you are going to see is this page which is called the quotes page. So the quotes page is going to give you the currency pace that you are trading or any other instruments that you might be trading in the market. So this is where you get all the information of any currency pay, any instrument, anything that you wanted to trade. You can find it right here. And then in front of any instrument, you are going to see the exchange rate. The exchange rate is the current price that that currency pay or that instrument, can, it can be gold, is going for at that moment. So for example here, you can see that in front here, we have exchange rate. So let's take one of the currency pairs, which is Australian dollar to Canadian dollar. You are going to see that this currency pair right here, you've got two exchange rates. And the first exchange rate here is the bid price. This is the price that you can sell at. If you want to sell this currency pair, you are going to sell at this price. And in front of it, you, go, you get the ask price, which is the buy price. If you want to buy in the market, you are going to be buying at this price. So this is the lowest price that the brokers is willing to let you buy the market with right so this is basically what you get in this quotes page so these prices have got what are called the pips and you're going to talk about those in the next video but right here you can see that this is the exchange rate that you want to use right so once you go from the quotes page the next page that you see right here is the chart window so the chart window is where you get all the information about what the market has been doing so for example the market has been creating these candles to show you the prices right so we have what are called candles if you want to analyze the trend of the market and also the reversals of the market you can use this chart here you can also see that in this chart if you zoom out we have this what are called candlesticks and candlesticks are representation of what the price has been doing right i will do a series of videos make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you can see those videos in the future where i tell you everything if you are a beginner so the series is coming up and the first video is this video so we have this candlestick right here and this candlestick is going to represent the opening price the closing price of any instrument at any point of the time right so next in front of the candles or at the end of the screen here you are going to see the prices and you can see that when the market was right here the price was here and then the market dropped and now the price current price is here so you can see that in front here that's where you see the prices of the market now on this chart window this is where you can find more features if you click uh, on the middle of the screen you are going to see a pop-up of this round bar here so this round here you are going to see that on this circle you have different things right the first thing that you have is the time frame you can see it's written m1 m5 m15 m30 h1 uh, d1 and, and so on and so on so m1 mean, means one minute time frame and one minute time frame means each and every candle that you see here is representing one minute so if you go to m1 means one minute time frame and m5 means five minute time frame h1 means one hour d1 means one daily time frame and then w1 means weekly and then mn means monthly so if you're a scalper you will be using this one minute time frame and five minute time frame if you are a day trader you'll be using the one hour the 30 minute the 15 and if you are a seasonal trader or a positional trader you are going to be using the weekly and the monthly right or the daily if you are a swing trader now on this you can see that the, the next thing that you see here is this uh object bar here if you click on this thing you're going to go to the objects and what are objects objects are different things like trend lines, rectangles that you use to help you analyze the market. So if you click on this plus button here, you're going to see a list of all the things that you can draw on your charts 
be it vertical lines right here you can also have horizontal lines you can also draw trend lines you can also draw grids and also you can draw fibonacci on the market so that you can, it can help you to increase the chances of winning now as i said in the future i will be creating more videos on how to analyze the market or you can check out other videos on this channel you are going to see a lot of videos on how to analyze the market but now let me show you how do you place your trade right so if you want to place your trade you are going to see, click on this top right corner right there you're going to click that icon and then if you click that icon you're going to go into this window this window is where you decide which type of trade do you want to place and how big is the trade where is the stop loss where do you want to exit the market once the market moves right so before i show you how to place these trades first of all i want to show you different type of trades that you can place so if you click here on market execution you're going to see that there's a list of trades that you can place so the first one is the buy limit and what is the buy limit the buy limit is simply when you want to buy below the way the price is so let's say this arrow represents the price and the price is going down but then you want to buy but you don't want to buy at the current price here on the head of the arrow you want to wait for the market to come to another zone here to a lower zone so that you can buy on a much discounted price you can use the buy limit so you would click the buy limit and then you would add the price that you want to buy it and then it will look like this right so next we have the sell limit the sell limit is almost the same as the buy limit but in this case you want to sell when the market reaches a certain level where it haven't gone to and it's upper or it's the, or different is the opposite of where you want the market to go so here you want the market to drop but you want you want it to come to this zone and then you sell before uh, it drops right there then next we have the buy stop so the buy stop is simply when the market is moving in, in let's say to the upside right but you want to buy at a higher price maybe you want to the market to break above a typical zone and then you want to buy so you are buying at the level which is above right so when you are buying you want the market to be going up but still you want to buy at a higher price and then the same goes for the sell stop so let's say the market is going down so here i should be written sell stop so let's say the market is going to the downside and then you want to sell when the market reaches a lower level right so now that you understood this whole type of trades that you can place but for now let's click the market execution because we want to click the trade that we buy right now or we sell right where the market is so we when you want to buy first thing that you want to do is you want to look at the lot sizes and on the lot sizes there's different options but mainly there's three common lot sizes right so the first one is 0 0.01 and this means if you use this lot size 0 0.01 it means for each and every movement that the market makes you are going to win or lose 10 cents in your trade if you use 0 0.10 you are winning or losing one dollar for every one tick or every one peep or every movement that the market makes you are going to be making or losing one dollar because you use a, mi a mini load which is 0 0.10 then if you use a one full load here so instead of instead of here writing 0 0.01 you just write 1.00 that means for every movement that the market is making you are making or you are losing 10 dollars in the market right so now let's go ahead and place the trade so first of all we want to place the we choose the load size the next thing that you want to choose here is what the stop loss so if we sell we want to make sure that so in trading let's say you are buying if you buy you want a certain level where you say okay i'm buying but if the market doesn't go to my direction it goes against me i want to get out of the market that is called the stop loss and it's represented by this first box right here and in this case we want to sell so the stop loss should be above our order because if you sell that means you want to give if you demand you want the market to go to the downside but let's say it doesn't go to the downside and start going up you want to exit at a certain point so what you need to do is you want to know how many pips is it from your entry to your stop loss then you type in your stop loss here i will show you in a step by step video as i said i will link all those videos in the description or else i will create a playlist of those videos right so right now as we see 
the market is at 0 0.6417 this big number and if it goes to 0 0.6438 you want to get out of the market so that is my stop loss so now we choose the, the the stop loss we have the lot size so now we click sell once we click sell here you're going to see that we are going to be directed to the trade page and this is where you see your balance of the balance of your account so as you can see this balance here the account you've got around five thousand and then we have the equity the equity is the amount of money that is in the market uh, that is unrealized the profit that we have or unrealized the loss so the equity is the, the whole number the all the money that we have including the money that is in the trade that are not closed right so the first trade that we placed is right here and you can see that on this trade we started only a negative because whenever you place a trade you are going to start on in a little negative because there is a commission which is the spread and the spread is the difference between the buying price and the selling price so the bid and the ask the difference between the bid and the ask is the spread and the spread is a commission that the broker takes on each and every trade that you place so it's like five percent or three percent or seven percent of your account depending on the broker that you are using if you want a very cheap broker with almost zero spreads i will leave a link in the description below so make sure to check it out if you close your trades you are going to also get into a history page here where you see all your trades that you have closed right here so as you can see uh this uh, the account started at five thousand i placed the one trade and uh, i closed it quite too early with 31 dollars in profit that was what you can see here and the balance is now 5030 and also there's unrealized profits that are already in the trades running so basically this is exactly how you place your first trade on meta trader 4 so if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure to watch this video coming up next if you want a complete step by step guide on how to analyze the market i'm gonna give you more than 15 ways of entering the market things that you need to know if you, before you enter into the market so you can choose any of the strategies and start making money right now so check out the video and i'll see you